Hello and welcome. We've got a special edition today. I'm uh, doing a test run of one of the cases for the Microsoft Excel World Championships finals, since, as I've mentioned before, I'm no longer a participant to Sad Face. Anyway, uh, this is the case that's going to be used for the quarterfinals. Uh, I am going to attempt to simulate the sort of regular participant experience uh, in two ways. One, I'm going to time myself and just give myself 30 minutes and see where I get to. Uh, but number two, uh, as I think happens on the day, I've given myself a couple of minutes to read through the instructions beforehand, and I'm going to kind of give you a quick tour of them before I start my uh, my time. So basically, the idea is that we're looking at, at voting. Um, so we've got <clears throat> down here... Uh, you know, a hundred different people voting for various different parties. There's five different parties in the system. Blacks, blue, whites, reds, yellow, blues, and purples. Um, so level one, we're just counting votes, uh, figure out how many votes there are for purple. Pretty straightforward. Uh, level two is this kind of weird system where uh, the number of votes uh, accumulates in order. So in other words, you know, first person votes for yellow, blue. So that's one vote for yellow, blue. But then you have uh, four votes in a row for was it blue white black white blue white uh and so the first one counts for one but then the second one because it's the second in a row counts for two and then the third one counts for three and the fourth one counts for four so that string of four votes is worth 10 but if they were split up by votes for other parties they'd only be worth four uh so then you know there's a p that's worth one a b that's worth one and then bw uh the first one is worth one but the second one is worth two and so on along bit of a weird system but is what it is uh then level three um, oh yeah, it's basically just figuring out how far off a prediction of 20 votes is uh, in each case. Level four, um, I think it's just a kind of straightforward question, who gets the most votes, but with the twist that uh, all the, the votes have been replaced with colors, um, according to, uh, according to uh, here, uh, instead of their letters. And then level five, uh, there's an additional twist, which is, you know, now instead of having 100 voters, um, which you know these levels have out here, we now have a thousand voters, uh, and so we just get this kind of enormously long text string. Um, and I'll kind of tell you my immediate thought that I had on this. I haven't, uh, not one hundred percent sure how I'm going to solve it yet, but the immediate thought I had on this was, uh, it's going to be very problematic that this string is not prefix free. In other words, uh, I can't count all the blues that occur in the string because then I'll count all the blue-white votes as blue. I'll count all the yellow-blue votes as a blue. Uh, so I'll have to be a little careful with that. I'm contemplating either doing a find and replace to get rid of YB and BW and change them into something with one letter or various other things we can do. But anyway, so that's, that's the setup. Uh, so I'm going to start my timer and dive on in. So I'm going to start with the bonus questions because I think that's what I would do if I were really in the thing. What is the highest possible number of points a party can get? Okay, so that's just uh, some sequence 100. Uh, okay, what is the minimum payment John Average receives? Oh yeah, so this, so in level two, the, this guy is predicting, sorry, in level three, this guy is predicting the number of votes. Uh, he says every party will get 20 votes for every one that he's wrong by, he loses $10,000 versus a starting fee of a million. So I think off the top of my head, the most he can be wrong by is if one party gets 100 votes, then he's off by 80 on that party and off by 20 on each of the others. So he's off by a total of 160. Uh, 160 times 10,000, that would suggest he goes negative. Uh, I'm not sure if that's right. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to put in minus 600,000 for now and see. Uh... I guess I would get to find out score minus 30. What? I don't know how that works. Anyway, fine. Never mind. Uh, how many votes were given for the BW party across all 105 election scenarios? Oof. So, all right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the find and replace here because I think that's what you need to do. So uh, these purples are going to be P. Uh, so I'm going to come down here. And oops, across here, and then I'm going to do Control F. Actually, let me just give this a name. Uh, call votes, just so I can quickly get back to that when I need to. And I'm going to search, uh, and I'm going to give me options. Search by format, format from cell, purple, replace with uh, P with format plain. And then there, as I pick a color from a cell, it loses the focus. That's why I have to go back to the color votes. Let's see if that works. 
159. Uh, yes, they are there. It's kind of hard to see them, but they are there. Okay, so then let's do it again. Um, call votes. Uh, format blue cell. This guy is the blue whites. And again, I need to reselect this area. This part's a little time consuming, but once I've done it, uh, I think this question will fall out in a way very similar to the others. Uh, and this one is the red. Format from cell, red. If somebody knows a faster way to do this, I'd love to hear it. Oh no, shoot. I did not select the area before I did that. All right, so, bah. I'm gonna hit undo on that and select the correct area so it doesn't go off placing everything. Okay, and then this, what is this, yellow blue, I think? Yes, yellow blue. Uh, so, format from cell, from that cell. And then I gotta select call votes again. This YB. And is that it? Have I done them all? Let's see. No, I haven't done what I guess is black. Yes, it's black. Alright, so uh, one more time. Format cell this B place the black. And then select the range again. Call votes. Okay, so I get a count of 100 there, and I get a count of 2,000 there. So that's all done. So now, now let's just do this bonus question. Uh, so I'm going to say, count if, uh, leave it blank. Give me yeah, BW. So that's level one, in level two, in level three, oops, missed, here's level three, here's level four, and then level five is going to be different, so that's going to be len this minus len substitute this bw. Uh, so basically I'm saying how much shorter does it get when I replace all the bws with blanks? And if I divide that by two, that should be the number of BWs. Uh, no, I do not want that correction. Put it there. Okay. Okay, so then sum that up. Five, six, eight, one. Okay, so five minutes, I got my bonus questions and a little bit of setting up for the rest. I don't know if I've got it right or not, but... Uh, Well, uh, anyway, never mind. Let's just go on. So I'm going to say, how many votes for the purples? That's an easy one. Count if B. I'll just check that that matches for the answer for the sample, and it does. Okay, next question. Oh yeah, this one. I think I'm going to use a funky scan here. So I'm going to say let uh, cum votes scan initial value. Do I even want it? Yes. Uh, let's, say, let's say initial value X. And then the array is this. And I'm going to say lambda. No, actually, sorry. My initial value is going to be zero. Hmm. I guess I need two things, right? I need zero and x. Not totally sure that's going to work, but let's see. All right, so lambda uh, a v. Uh, if index uh, a two equals b, then b stacked uh, index. So in other words, this is saying if I've got the same value again, then it's going to be index a one plus one uh, over over v. Otherwise, it's going to be v stack uh, one over v. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. 
I'm sorry. Uh, oh, it's here. Oh, give me. Give me notes. Okay, where am I? That's the end of my lambda. That's the end of my scan. Then I'm going to return Kim boots. And that's going to calc. Oh, shoot. All right, never mind. Stop overcomplicating things. <laughs> so we're just going to say, um, I'm going to start with one. Shouldn't have done a scan. I'm not familiar enough with them yet. Uh, so I'm going to start with one, and then we're going to say if this, the next one equals the previous one, then give me the previous value, otherwise zero, and add one to that. Uh, uh, that's it. Copy down. And then, what is the question? Black, white. Okay, so it's going to be some product uh, minus minus this equals EW times this. Gives me 17, which matches. It's good. So we move on. All right, we're at eight minutes. Doing okay. Uh, all right, so this one I think is pretty simple. I uh, should have just given this a name. Do it now. Uh, call this parties. Okay, so the way I'm thinking about this is I want to say uh, it was count ifs, oops, count ifs this parties would give me five different values, which are the counts of, what's the, oh, is parties merge cells killing me here? Yes, it's two cells wide. Ah. Name manager, please. For some reason, control F3 has not been working for name manager for me lately. But anyway, I'll search it, find it. Uh, parties, I need not two columns, but just one column. Okay. Uh, right, close, and now go back to where we were. And that should now be working. Okay, so this now gives me uh, five different counts that add up to 100. So then I just want to subtract 20 from each of those, take the absolute value of that. That's how far off you are on each one, then I want the sum of those. Then it's going to be that. It's going to be 10 to the 6 minus 10 to the 4, which is 10,000 uh, times that sum. And that matches good. Okay. So next one. How many voters have cast a vote for the winning party? Okay. So this is just going to be, um, again, I'm going to do count ifs. Uh, I've done the hard work already by doing the substitutes. So count ifs that parties is going to give me the five different counts. And then I'm just going to... Uh, X look up. Uh, I'll look up uh, 101, just a number that will definitely be bigger than all the numbers. Look up in that, return from parties. Uh, wait, sorry, how many votes? Sorry, okay, so then I don't even need that. I'm making it too complicated, it's just the max of that. I was doing a look up to figure out which party it was, but I don't need to. 42, cool. Okay, level 5. Oh yeah, so this is the one that's complicated. Um, I think what I'm going to do is substitute this uh, YB with Y and substitute that. Uh, what's the other two name? BW. BW with W. Uh, and my thing I want to determine is, does that then give me string of length exactly 1,000, which would indicate I've got one character per vote. And the answer is it does. Good. Uh, so I'm going to turn off wrap there, so that falls back in, and then I just need to uh, do an updated version of parties, which is going to be, uh, what did I say, B, no, W there, and Y there. Uh, and then I'll call this party short, part short. And then sit down here. Mm, and wait, yeah, I've already done that part. Never mind. So then I'm going to say, uh, what's the question? Voters have cast a vote for the winning party. Okay, so it's just max of um, len. Of, well, it's just it's always a thousand minus len substitute uh, this string. Party is nothing, uh, and let's just get rid of the max for a second and just. See if this is in fact counting the votes for each party as I want it to. Uh, don't do that. So that gives me 794 votes, which is not right because that does not add up to the total. So what do I do here? 
I've got Y, W. There are votes for every party in this game. Wait, am I pointing at the right? Yes, I'm pointing at the one that's been substituted. It has length 1000. Okay, so something is wrong here. Let's just see. So in parties, uh, the BW party, let's see if I got unique characters here. BW, R, Y, P, I have. Y, B, B, W, yes, that shouldn't be an issue. So the second thing to check is BW is the second party in the list. So the number for BW84 should match this number, but it does not because that's 193. Wow. Okay. All right, well, I guess I'm going to try it a different way then. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to just take them out in order. I'm going to take out BW first, then YB, uh, then Y, then B, then R. Sorry, not Y. What is uh, I'm just, Basically, I'm going to take out the two character ones first, then P, B, and R. So uh, I'm going to say uh, substitute this, this to blank. And then substitute this for this to blank. Copy that across. Hopefully that'll end up with zero. It does. Uh, let me grab that as well. And then I'm going to say len. And then let me just link the start one back to here so I can reference that more easily. Am I doing on time? Fine. Okay, so uh, where was it? Yes, len this minus len this divided by the length of this lock in and then go back there you stop wrapping everything uh okay so that that's up to 997 which is still not right what's going on here okay is there something that spoiled votes or something. One thousand each of the an increased number of votes. The election results now increased their text string, but okay. So this is troubling. I've got a two hundred and thirty-four here, which does match something. Uh, but so uh, oh wait, sorry. I maybe just put this in the wrong place. Okay, so. Yes, sorry, I've copied over this one because this one is returning an empty string, which it should because that's the end of the votes. But uh, okay, so I got to go back here, back here, back here, and then copy that across. And that does add up to a thousand. Okay, that's more like what I was expecting. All right, so let's copy that down. I'm not sure what went wrong with my first method. I'll have to check that later. But for now, if these each add up to a thousand, and they do, then I'll feel pretty good about this. So the question is votes for the winning party, and that's just going to be the max of these. Uh, and that matches the sample. So I think I've now answered all the questions. I suspect that this answer might be wrong, but actually, you know what, I can semi-check that by coming over here. Uh, what is the answer going to be if I make all of these blue? And the answer is minus 600,000. Okay, so that's at least achievable. So I think I'm going to stop time. Uh, stop. 16 minutes. I'm going to, oops, all right, unhide. Uh, let's see, the F is the column that has the yes or no. Okay, so it says I got that one wrong. I, I don't find that totally implausible. I may well have. Um, but it says I got everything else right. Okay, pretty happy with that. Let's see what's the answer supposed to be. 260. Did I misread this? Well, no, I didn't misread it because I definitely can plug in. I know that my value is achievable, so I think the answer must be wrong there. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'm going to stop. Uh, maybe there's a typo or something in here. Um, we'll figure that out. Uh, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.